Check out that shopping center. That's a new shopping center. And this is relevant, not because it's a shopping center, because Myrtle Beach has got a piss load of them, but it's relevant because it's on the north end, which is close to us, which means it's really freaking convenient, which is really good. And it's also really bad, because I'm in the wrong lane. Let me slide in there. There we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Saturday. Uh, we, we've been told that all this, all that stuff was, was coming in for a while now, and they've been working on building it, but some of the stores are open. PetSmart, which is fantastic, because we like to shop at PetSmart, but PetSmart's really far away, and now this one's really, really close, so we're going to go to that PetSmart. Um, but we we're, we got a Dick Sporting Goods there, and we have another one somewhere else, Myrtle Beach, so it's not that big of a deal, but um, they sent a coupon to our house, and it was like $10 off when you spend $25 for the first month that they're open. And I was like, that's a pretty good coupon. I mean, $10 off, that's a good deal. We should do that. And we walked like the entire store trying to find something to buy. And we're like, oh my God, it's gonna be, it's too hard to find. So we, we finally wound up getting a pair of needle nose pliers, because we didn't have any, and a first aid kit for the car. Because that's kind of a thing that you should have, I think, maybe, because there's probably a time that will arise where you could use a first aid kit. And if you had one in your car, then you'd be like, all set. Maybe, I don't know. It just seems like one of those things that you, you wouldn't know that you needed it until you needed it. So we got one. Also because like we went through the entire store trying to find something we wanted to buy. And uh, apparently sporting goods stores aren't our deal. Uh, the other cool thing is that we went to a new place called Burger Fi. Um, it's, a, it's a chain restaurant that opened up and they, they do burgers. It's a lot like five guys um, but their whole thing is that they're natural it's like natural and green and environmentally friendly and all this um, I had a um, what's it all all day breakfast burger I think it's called it was it was a cheeseburger and it had bacon maple syrup um, a fried egg and an entire hash brown on it like a fried hash brown and the, the burger was good the maple syrup on it was really good but the problem was the hash brown it was what I was most excited for when I ordered it I was like oh a hash brown I've never had one on a burger and I realized why after I got it because the texture is so different from everything else that it just throws you off you take a bite and you're like burger yeah and then you get to the hash brown and you're like hash brown so I don't know it it wasn't bad we also got fries that were good now, you just got a regular double cheeseburger with bacon, right? Yep. Um, the burgers weren't bad, but they, it didn't blow my mind. You know, I, I think Five Guys is definitely better than Burger Fi. Um, the other thing that kind of bothered me, and I, I have to, I have to clarify on this, otherwise everyone's going to think I'm a terrible person. I really hated how much they pushed that all natural thing. Like they really pushed it hard. Like when after we finished paying. They are apparently forced at the, the register to say, thanks for choosing all natural. And I'm like, eh, okay. And then uh, like all of the, the stuff outside's like, you can eat guilt free. And I'm thinking, I already eat guilt free. I don't have any guilt about what I'm eating. So I don't have to come to Burgerfy to get my, to, to feel guiltless. I already feel guiltless when I'm eating. It's not a big deal to me. But like, it just really pushed it. And it's not that that's a bad thing. It's not that being environmentally conscious is a bad thing. It's just, it's really weird for me when a, a company wears it on its sleeve so heavily. I, I would much rather a company not talk about it and then read like an article somewhere that's like, guess what Chipotle's doing or guess what so-and-so's doing? As opposed to, you know, someone's like, these napkins are all, all made from recycled feces. You know, it's like, good, but don't tell me that. Thank you for eating all natural. Anyway, um, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad place. But that's my official Burger Fi review. If you want, if you want to review. Otherwise, we went to Walmart, got some stuff done. Um, tonight, actually, it's been out for an hour. I gotta go home and read the comments. Our Donkey Kong Country competition video came out, so that is gonna be in the um, the end slate of this video. So if you want to see it, check it out. It's one of the I don't want to say it's one of the proudest things I've ever done. It, it, it's not that. Um, it, it's all thanks to Chaz having the cart, period. But it's just so freaking cool that we were able to actually do it on a real cart. That's just really, really awesome. And, and uh, I thank Chaz for letting us do that. But it's just really, really cool. So if you haven't seen it, it's going to be in the insulator of this video. Go check it out. 
Um, that's it for us. We're going to go home. Uh, we're going to do some game night stuff. Uh, I got to get all my affairs in order for next week because there's a lot of recording stuff going on next week. Fingers crossed it all goes well. And uh, as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we? Going to Pirate's Voyage again because we got cheap tickets. So even though they're dying and they look really terrible and decrepit, we still have little beauties like this, except this is a, this has end rot. But I just picked one that would, did not have end rot. I'm a little nervous. Uh, I, I am a big fan of Donkey Kong Country, and uh, I have played this quite a few times because uh, Chaz and I used to go to conventions and used to bring it, but it's been a long time since I have played it. And also, I actually don't remember a whole lot about it. So I'm hoping that I can There's get a good donkeys. score. <laughs> there are actually no donkeys. I'm not right? sure where you got this information, but it is incorrect. <laughs>